WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently we've got the Dow trading up 55 points. She's trading out at 36,392. The S&P's up 9. NASDAQ 100 up 107 points. The Russell's up 15. Both of those are about 7 tenths of a percent to the upside. The semi's up 1 and 6 tenths percent, 65 bucks. Gold is trading down $29 at 1799. Silver of 49 cents. That's a 2% drop. It's trading out at 2286. Let's go spend a little time. Take a look at our nine panel market update chart. In the upper left hand side, you've got the ES Mini. The ES Mini has a sell the D point, at least technically speaking. That was confirmed with this bearish engulfing candle on the trading day of December the 30th. Price, however, still above the top of its weekly and daily profiles, so the signal is somewhat muted. A close above 47.9975 would negate that sell the D point. If we take a look at spot volatility, it is trading below its 50-day exponential moving average. That's printing at 1968, and the spot volatility is 1723. That, in essence, is bullish for the S&P 500. The NQ still trading inside that November 22nd swing point. That's what created that Rhodes momentum indicator signal out there. Price would have to close above 16,769 and a quarter to negate that pattern. But as long as price stays above 16,366, even if it's with light volume, odds favor that price may make a run for that high. The U.S. dollar index right now, it's having a strong day. It is testing the top of a brand new profile that is attempting to form. The top of that profile is 96.31. We're trade at 96.31. So that's where the sellers reside. In the case of Goldilocks on Friday, made its way up to where sellers reside, the top of the weekly profile. It has since traded lower. Right now, it's testing the top of that weekly profile. Watch the 1802.20 level. Price able to close above that? Well, then I'd say gold has held the day. Silver, silver is weaker than gold from the standpoint. It hasn't been able to even get really inside its bearish structured daily profile. That's between 2345 and 2393. We do know where the sellers reside. In the case of light sweet crude, it has an A to B equals CD pattern, but it has not generated a bearish reversal candle. Just trading inside a new daily profile with support at 7389 resistance, 7744. Natural gas still can't really find its legs. It would need to close about $3.98 to say that there is a bottom. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Zed Show. We'll see you in just a few.